Welcome back to the Melo Confirmo Sports and Betting Podcast. This is my public apology to Kim Ning. I have clowned you so many years on Twitter. And what you have done to turn around this ball club this year dude, deserves a hot tip. I bet with my heart. I am rocking with the United States of America. I'm rocking the mullet like the, my fellow Americans. <laughs> we are going to win back-to-back Ryder Cups. We're going to storm Italy like it's 1943. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the Melo Confit Most Sports and Betting Podcast. As always, I'm here with Dave. Uh, coming off a little bit of a cold, so I may not talk as much today. But uh, yeah, fucking amazing Finns win this weekend. I mean, hanging 70 on that bump Sean Payton's head. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, as, that's as good as it gets. And Fuck yeah. You know, neither of us picked them. No, but, I was gonna say. But, but, I think I think that's just the Dolphins in us. Dolphins yeah, fan in us. Like we don't want to trust. We're like the six is too big for us, and then we won by fifty. Um, but that you was know, a fucking wild game. A little tease though. I mean, I'm taking the Finns by fifty again this week against Buffalo. We're dropping Buffalo. eighty on Buffalo's head. I hope so, bro. And we're gonna Brian Cox it out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. No, I, I, I. We can get a little bit into Finns talk yeah. later, but. I'm not sold yet. I'll say that. Even after seventy, I'm just Hell? I'm just not sold yet. What do you mean I, not sold I, yet. I gotta go. Are in, you not sold yet? I gotta go into Buffalo. I was sold in the preseason. See, and see us win. I'm sold on the fact that we're a good team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're but not guess, sold on the Buffalo thing yet. Hey, it's not that. We started three and zero last year. We beat yeah. Buffalo in we in in week three. I think it was last year. That was at home. Everything looked like we were the best team. Two MVP conversations were happening at that time, too. Two stats are actually exactly the same through the first three games as this year as last year. So, like, literally, I'm talking about yards, touchdowns, completion percentage, everything. That's crazy. So, for me, I'm not 100% sold yet because this is exactly where we were last year. We went to, uh, I forget where week four was last year, but... We ended up well, the season six and eight in our last 14 games. Yes, but we also lost two in week three. We lost two, two four, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Anything can happen in, in 14 yes, weeks. So. But two didn't know jujitsu last year. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we he didn't have an arm sleeve. We also, he doesn't have the arm sleeve. <laughs> the, arm arm sleeve. sleeve. That's the, the arm sleeve feels that's, a little that's different the, this year. That's the game changer. Plus the fact that we weren't hanging 70 on people. So no, no. Actually. We weren't running the ball as well uh, as we are this year. Yeah, our no offensive line, line is significantly better. Yeah. But again, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. I won't be sold until we win a freaking playoff game. How about that? All right, all right, all right, all right. right. Um, I do want to touch before we, you know, obviously, as you see, I'm decked head to toe. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of Ryder Cup Ryder Cup today. Um, Pumped about that up to the Marlins. I'm not a big baseball guy, so we've got a a, a special guest for that part, too. Uh, But we do have to address. We got cracked on the book. <laughs> um, the bets, our bets that we gave out, um, it kind of overcorrected. We went from nine and one. I personally went nine and six um, through the first. Or two no, weeks. Sorry, nine, nine, six. two and six this week. Oh. Uh, my only two wins were Notre Dame plus three and a half, which was crazy. That's what you, what we got for taking it so early. But then on the flip side, uh, some other, some other picks. Uh, what was the actual? Oh, FSU was the other one that that. The FSU one hit for us. That one hit the sports. Yeah, easy. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your, the, the, the Miami pick did not work out. <laughs> the, well, the um, UM pick, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Damn, bro. You know what? That <laughs> it looked like it was gonna cover for You're a second Danny's there. Smiling from ear yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. he was it's texting the whole it's time. True though, the prediction of the, the three hundred yards rushing. Yeah, yards. yeah. 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 they call that. Yeah, three hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. It also um, came true for the Dolphins too. It was like a yeah. weird Miami, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miami thing. Start predicting it. Whatever. If it works for the yeah. Canes and it works for the Dolphins simultaneously, I think I can live with it. Hey, relax. You're gonna start predicting FIU 300. <laughs> yeah. but we, we, we did not cover 10 and a half or money line or yeah, nothing. <laughs> or your prop bet of uh, <laughs> your prop bet. Oh yeah, my prop bet for Christian. <laughs> uh, Ke- uh, Keon Owens, uh, Keon Jenkins Jump. over three touchdowns wasn't even close. No. Um, and no, this is a brutal. We had, uh, well, we uh, had the we had uh, Oregon State. My, I had Oregon State. You had Oregon State. Two yeah. and a half. The uh, one that did hit was um, was the we had one. Was that NFL pick? Oh, 
wait, you mean the one that neither one of us? No, no, well, I was gonna go to that one. <laughs> there, was, there was one that I had. I went zero and three in the NFL. There was one I that I hit over in the in, line in NFL. The Seahawks game. I had Packers plus two, which he had Saints money line. And yeah, we somehow both lost. Um, and then after after the Saints blew a seventeen point lead, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and then I also had. Uh, oh, I had Titans plus three, which was another blowout. So I got absolutely shelled this week. But we'll be back. I, I'm I'm kind of liking the board this week. Only in NFL though, because college I am I college. Oh I'm not. oh, that's the one. Cowboys. Oh, that's true. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally where you at? I told like, you those Cowboys were not going to cover that. Plus twelve and. Yeah. and Kind of joking. Honestly, that's my favorite pick of the week. Almost, <laughs> if you went with a hit, then that would have been a different one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on, we're on a bye week too. Definitely play this week, or are they on a bye week? They're, too? I think they're on a bye week this week too. Oh, all three teams on a bye. Yeah. So yeah, we won't spend too much on college. Um, no. Nope. Yeah. Um, I mean, the big shock for me this week was Cards beating the Cowboys. Yeah. That, that, um, and that, the, te- the, the Texans that, look good. Well, Texans beating the Jags and the Colts beating the Ravens. Colts beating the Ravens. That doesn't yeah. shock me too much, to be honest. The Baltimore hasn't been playing that well. Yeah, well, they're also super banged up. They are banged right? up. Yeah. Especially, the, but more on the defensive side. Than the, to me, but the biggest thing is they're banged up on the defensive side. I know, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. They're being, To me, the biggest problem is their offense, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, they're missing some O-linemen, too. But, I mean, I love Zay Flowers. I, I, I love Lamar. Zay. I, I, I love Lamar, I too. like Lamar, I too. Lamar's still going to, like, keep getting better. But um, but they put up, what, like 18 points this past week? Or what was it? Let me see. I think they it was 20, maybe. maybe. 21, 24. 22, 19. So they put up 19. They put up 27 against the Bengals, and they put up 25 against the Texans. Not bad. They're down three running backs, though. They're at this point, at this point, yeah. At, th- at this point, they don't have any. Yeah. But we also like we're, we're shying down the numbers because we just saw the Dolphins put up seventy. So I don't yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. And we're gonna talk about. And we're gonna talk about that. The Dolphins scoring 70, 70 points yeah. outscored has outscored eighteen teams in their total points scored this year. We're wild. Yeah, we could have scored ninety. We still, we still <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that because I think we should have absolutely kicked that field goal. I do not care. We we'll should have absolutely we'll kicked it. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, we want to want to bring in Campbell and uh, get into uh, a little bit of Finn's talk. This guy. Get a little, little Marlin's talk. Guys. And then the elephant in the room. We did a he we did a disservice. <laughs> yeah. No, we're gonna get into a full yeah, Ryder yeah. Cup. But we wanted to bring him in, talk some Marlins. Marlins deserve some love on yes, the show. Absolutely, man. Uh, this is the most hype the Marlins have had in a, in a long time. You know, outside of maybe the COVID year where we made it to the playoffs. Which doesn't count. On a half, <laughs> half, <laughs> half, <laughs> half, <laughs> half <laughs> year. Yeah. So, it's still fire, though. It's still fire. I'll take it however so, we can get it. Uh, people can forget. Uh, but they deserve some love, even though they're falling apart here at got the end. completely screwed today. Uh, got rained out. You're going to have to play a doubleheader tomorrow. Only have two starting pitchers. Gonna have to have the pitcher that was gonna go today go on game 162 on four days rest, which he's never done. No. Every team that they're um, playing the wild card are winning. The D backs came back from 4 0. Reds came back from a jillion runs and came back, and so they got completely screwed. It was the absolute worst case scenario. Yeah. Fact. What are we? Still so one game out? We're one game out. We're going to put a double header tomorrow. The good thing is we have the tiebreaker against the Cubs and the Diamondbacks. Yes, we do. So that's good for us. And they're the ones that play each other, right? At Who's this point, I, somebody they were playing the each other. I don't. It's the Reds and the Cubs. I'm not. Oh, I'm not entirely yeah. sure. Check, yeah, I'll check right now. Um, yeah, Reds are up right now, 11-7. Uh, Cubs are beating the Braves 6-3 and Diamondbacks are winning 9-4. Sick. Like literally the three worst <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking yeah, yeah. situations. I mean, had, uh, you know, White Sox first five. Oh, Completely my. destroyed in the top of the fifth <laughs> inning. Was but Cub, yeah, Cubs finish against Braves and Brewers. Um, let's Which see. is a tough road. Yeah. Why it's so disappointing that the Cubs are also winning is because they're in Atlanta. This is, these are, this is a series they could drop two games, give us a huge boost. So that yeah. winning tonight really sucks. Let me see here. Diamondbacks got White Sox and Astros. Astros in the playoff hunt. They're they're yeah. they're in the wild. No, no, they got to win too. Yeah. yeah, they got to win. And then who else do we got here? Who's the third team? We got Mets and uh, San Francisco's yeah. pretty much out at this point, right? Yeah, they've completely it's, crumbled the last yeah. month. It's only it's only it's really yeah it's a three team race for two spots. Right. So. 
Marlon's just got to get one heat. You guys Another bad break. Tanner Scott is having a kid. Congratulations, Tanner. My thing is, fun. let's say <laughs> we definitely <laughs> needed you the next six games. So I'm happy if they get in. But you're you're basically dealing with a, a no Sandy in the rotation. No Sandy. No Yuri. On the IL. Yeah. Not there. I mean, I don't think he even plays in the first series. So it's like. But, I mean, shit, if you can find a way to win these five games, who's to say you can't find a way to win? The, the thing is, the bats have actually come alive. The magic yeah. number for us is four and two. Four and two most likely gets yeah. us in, no matter what. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's house money. You know? They went eight yeah. games over their win total. Yeah. Is it Rise? Season? Or is it Rise only? Still hurt. He's still hurt, right? Of course, when we need, we're in the middle of the he steps on baseball. I know. <laughs> this is fr- yeah. Yeah. Of all ones. things. It's been a calamity of errors, and still, they're still fighting. They're still playing That's why I just want them to get in. Because through everything... This is my public apology to Kim Ning. I have clowned you so many years on Twitter. And what you have done to turn around this ball club this year... Dude. ...deserves a hot tip, and... The I bell and burger. I'm wrong, wrong about sports takes because it means that my team is usually doing well. So that is my official on camera apology to Kim. The bell and burger. Oh my god! Home have run, just home been run additions, dude. Exactly what this team needed. We needed power and we needed extra. Jazz reasons. staying healthy and coming alive in the second like half of the season. Games. You know, not that's, too bad. That's that's what not we too need. Bad. That's what we I need. Mean, Solaire being awesome, even though the one that was kind of a bust. Solaire, don't pay him. It's a great deal. Awesome. He's going to opt out and ask for a ton of money, and he's old. Yeah, I love you, Jorge. No more though. Come he actually, back. he actually, he actually works out here at Pine Crest Performance. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna really, find he's you. He's actually bro. coming through the door right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, actually, sounds he's, 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 right? yeah. he's, he's a big dude. He's a big guy. Such a large human being. No, he, he, he absolutely. If not we can get him for a good price, I, I think it's Ooh, good. Absolutely. But I agree. But it's not worth out, overpaying. Basic, yeah. I think he's got thirty-eight home runs, one hundred and ten RBIs. Yeah. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna yeah, twist, twist the screws yeah, on yeah, us. Yeah, so. yeah. And we got. It's not that he won't do good next year. Whatever. Obviously, he's having a breakout year. He's not been a consistently healthy person in his career and we got still got some holes to fill we can't we, or Sandy is out for the year next year most likely with the torn UCL yeah. so you gotta get oh, more pitching like that yeah no no yeah, I'm not yeah sure I mean I'm there's not I, they haven't they haven't determined whether or not he's gonna do surgery but basically he did his rehab assignment in minors pitched really good through 90 was hitting 95 pitched four scoreless innings but after form was sore and that's like the telltale sign that it's, it's pretty, it's much, pretty a, much an inevitable it's conclusion. A, it's yeah, like it's when a running bad, bad situation. after ACL, yeah. and they're like, oh, I could te- go on it. Eventually, it's going to tear, and you, yeah. you got to clean it up. So, And what sucks is the lag time is no matter what, for Tommy John surgery, it's 18 months. So yeah. he's There's for no, sure done next year. Unless you're Aaron Rodgers and you can do that yeah. type of treatment yeah. where you could be back in three months from yeah, a, yeah, a torn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Well, all I'm going to say is can't be mad. No, no, no. We, we exceeded expectations this year by a million. What the part that stinks was that we were 14 games above 500 at the All Star break. Of course, but that was that's and, just Marlins. But, DNA. by the way, like, 14 out, games so above 500 game, and negative 55 uh, run differential. Well, to be fair, last year we had a positive run differential and a yeah. l- losing record, so run differential doesn't really we're no, good especially games. when you're winning those close games. Yeah, right. exactly. A lot of a lot of times, run differentials for good offenses are just the Braves destroy right. Yeah. Like, I hate you. Yeah. Who's, I hope you don't so, win. who would you guys say, if not the Marlins, who's winning it? Who would be your, your guess? <sighs> My two Bra- value picks are actually pretty out there. I am holding a Braves 20 to 1 ticket, a Rays 20 to 1 ticket. I don't think they're going to win. Been on, you've been on the Rays for like. They're my second favorite team only yeah. because they're the better version of the Marlins, but technically I'm not supposed Follow to the like same them yeah, yeah, yeah. because <laughs> they're Tampa. our in state rival. Tampa. Yeah. They're, they got my favorite baseball player. Dirty Randy, I love you so much. <laughs> Randy Rosarena. Hey, he's dirty. Uh, I mean, Braves definitely seem to be the favorite. They're just a powerhouse. Even though they're they're not playing really good baseball right now, and baseball is one of those things. Whoever's hot, hot right in now, September, yeah. that's why I like the Marlins. Like Marlins can go on a. They're not healthy. That's the problem. I was going to say, but if we were fully healthy, I really generally thought we could compete with anyone. Yeah. I don't think that to be the case now, just because of our pitching situation. Um, but Braves are still. You know, a powerhouse because of their their lineup. I mean, they have four guys over thirty eight home runs or something crazy like that. They have everybody on their lineup with eight hundred OPS. Yeah, I like for in terms of hot the Rangers free falls out of the division. Yeah, 
have now taken the division lead back, playing really good baseball. They're down their two best pitchers in DeGrom and Scherzer. But I don't know. I think they're a team that could get hot. I like uh, the Cubs. Honestly, they Cubs got have that played really well. Scrappy clutch hit. I hope you don't get in. I hope we get in. <laughs> but I would say the Cubs, if they get in, the Phillies got a scary lineup, good pitching. Dude, that's I what mean, I was going to say. Baseball I like the, the, only I like the Phillies. I don't like taking the best team because it, no, yeah, it usually backfires. So Phil- I, I Phillies, by the, the way, Brewers. Phillies yeah. five in a row, eight of their last ten, and they've – the second half of the season are they're one of the best, awesome. yeah. one of the best teams. So, so I, I, you know, and they lost last year. Still got a chip exactly. on their shoulder. Exactly. They're, they're, they're they're a chip I on think their shoulder. right now they're like sixteen to one or something. Can't 16. count out the Orioles either. I know you know it would be that would be a cool story. You know, considering awesome, the turnaround of a vet, I don't think they're one of the worst history. baseball teams ever. And now you know on top, and they yeah. went farm system. Let me f- try to figure it out. You know, develop this young for talent. A very long time, man. Yeah. They, they took it, and that's a tough division. I mean, who would have said that the Yankees and the Red Sox would have been the last two in that division, bro? How crazy! You got the Rays, it, the Baltimore, and Toronto up there. Fans, yeah. They're, Favorite and scenario. by the way, paying a crap load for their for yeah, their lineup. Absolutely. So, but I think that's enough baseball for today. We'll see what happens with the Marlins. We'll definitely uh, <laughs> keep following them. Yeah. Uh, but go fish though. Go let's, fish. We're not yeah, a baseball go guy, fish. but go fish. Hey, keep swimming. Live on side, man. Keep swimming. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, my, my inside um, baseball extends to uh, just hit home runs. Yeah. <laughs> you win games. Or or uh, or. Uh, Baseball when we beat oh, yeah. you, uh, 30, 30 to zero. No, stop. <laughs> stop. Well, I will say the last thing on baseball, what they've done for the game to make it faster has been. I do, so it actually I has worked. worked. Baseball, yeah, I just don't. I can't follow it. I just can't. Yeah, it's but, so long. But the games are fun. Like, I went to Marlins games. Yeah, it's worked. And it's worked. They're fun. So I think more people should absolutely go to Marlins games. They, they shrunk they, the bases. They the sport. Oh no, they made them bigger. Made them bigger. Yeah. Pitch clock. Yeah. The pitch clock was huge. Pitch clocks. Exactly. So, yeah, it worked. But uh, let's talk about that 70 spot that's, from the Dolphins this weekend. Let's talk some fins, man. By the way, <laughs> you know, that's ironic that your jersey oh, yeah, is shit, 70. 70. Yeah. Damn. I remember in high school. Nice. The I remember cam. in high school and, you know, I got this in high school. Kind of like right around the time that, you know, we started. Spoken into existence little in little high school. Yeah. I like it. A little this turnaround in our franchise. You know, we started... I think, we, I think that was like the end of the Ryan Tannehill era. I don't think about those days. I just want to look ahead. <laughs> Listen, I was a, I, yeah, I was a Tanny defender, but um, were you? I was, but we are in a new era. We we've are in got, a new era. We've got the goat Mike McDaniel. We've got the goat Tua. We got the goat Tyreek. We got we're just a bunch of goats. <laughs> goats. <laughs> Every single player is a, a goat. Bo- goat Vaughn. Goat, goat Vaughn. Uh, goat Ramsey's resting. Goat. X with a I can't wait kids. till his team looks with Jalen Ramsey, man. I, yes. Like that's just oh, like another oh, level no, for our defense. We scored seventy points without fucking Jalen Waddle. Waddle. Yeah, Jalen Waddle. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. know, I have the worst luck ever. I've been a Dolphin season ticket holder. Well, not me, but my family. I've been going to games since I was six years old. Every single game, I have missed the Miami Miracle. I have missed the <laughs> seventy burger. <laughs> Fuck. I have. I'm so glad yeah, I got the tickets. Like, going to games, bro. Yeah, no, that's what my parents were telling me. They're like, "Hey, yeah. listen, man." It's like my I, ca- I caught the tickets to the home opener at yeah, 11 yeah. o'clock the night before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was because of like I had a credit through work, so I bought the ticket. I ended up paying 50 bucks for a ticket row eight. It was kind of in the sun for the first half you, of the year. You were uh, uh, mad at me, but <laughs> dude, I, by by halftime it was shady and yeah. and and it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. I was like, dude, it's the home opener. It's like one of the most hyped seasons we have. I gotta yeah, go to this. Yeah, yeah. Where this is the, the best thing is, I've ever seen. The, the, the fly the flyover yeah. happened. But I didn't see it. Okay, so that's what I that's what I heard. They're very small planes. The flyover. Where were they? The flyover. I, I, I heard. I heard them and they and they were on the screen. I didn't hear. They deserved the. I didn't hear shit. Two bomber and they gave us like. The I could kind of hear it from the distance, and then I would look up, and I didn't see anything. Yeah. I was—I thought it was from where take, I was sitting. Hot take. Fifty-two bombers that game. We, the Flyers should be every game. Well, you know, big games. Home opener. opener. opener is oh, yeah. we, us I, I, us as the fans it. deserve it. I, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that. I get it. It was home opener. It was week three, week. but god damn. <laughs> No, but that was that was crazy. I mean, I actually could not believe it. Like, watch it. Like, obviously, I was there too, and just like, just we just kept going. Well, we going. scored first touchdown was in a minute and twenty seconds. The, yeah, the Reek one, obviously, 
Once again, I'm going to mention every single episode. Tyreek right. Hill is the best player in football. Um, but that that the fact that it just never stopped. Like it was even when the backups came in. Like Mike White threw a bomb to Chosen Anderson. Like on Pat Sertan. On Pat Sertan. Yeah, they kept their starters. He in. That was the best part. Him. Yeah. Dude, he was talking. His dad was talking. His dad's like, I told him all the tips on the cover Tyreek. Oh yeah, I heard that. And I'm like, dude, you can cover a bunch of <laughs> that. Like. Our they play, they played a lot of they did play a lot of zone. No, Sam, I, I think it's Sam Madison. Oh, Sam Madison. Sam Madison oh. Yeah, that's our team senior was our coach. I think. Was I thought he, yeah yeah okay. And he like coached up his son about how to cover Tyreek and how to like. No one can cover Tyreek. So no. that's the thing. Can't. They also played a lot of zone. Yeah yeah. yeah. You couldn't cover Rocky. That's the thing. They say oh you got to play zone against his defense. Oh you got to play man against his defense. Clearly neither one of those works. I mean when you have the five fastest recorded <laughs> times in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. Posture. Wow. I will say. Wonderful performance. Man, did Denver look horrendous. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, some of the I take is, yeah, yeah. It the looks tack, like To me, it was the tackling. Oh, Jesus. On yeah. eight yeah. 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 I get it. He's, I guess I get I get that they're fast, right? And it's all about angles at that point. Yeah. And they were just taking terrible angles. But, but like, dude, on. it was the fourth quarter. We had our backups and we scored 21 points. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's that one picture of like, yes, like, that picture is of like, like everybody on the floor. The old line, I think old line well, said, the old line has been the, fantastic. The third quarter, they said like these guys were even like getting off the balls quick. Yeah. They didn't. They weren't yeah, it's, they it's really in the end, to be a pro and be getting your ass <laughs> bro. I mean, it was thirty-five. What uh, seven and a half? Fifty-six, thirteen. No, thirty-five, yeah. like 35 13, yeah. In the yeah. third quarter, yeah, yeah. 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 Touchdowns in three minutes because we threw a touchdown, got a turnover. Yeah. I think that was it was, the, it was the Holland uh, force fumble yeah. right before half, and then we scored. The defense there. played great, though, because the defense let's, great, let's yeah. talk about when it was fourth and one, and we were right in our own possession. Yeah. I think we were up 21-7 at that point, right? They get a stop right there at fourth and one. That could easily be a touchdown right there. All of a sudden, you're talking about it's a 21-14 game, and it's a game. Wait, Anything could happen yeah. after that. It did get to – well, no, I think it was actually – it was even better. I think it was 21-14. It was. It was 21-14 at that they point. Tied the game because we didn't get it. Um, and the defense held up. Defense, I mean, Vaughn had two f- forced fumbles. Um, Agba had a pick. Agba had that uh, pick. Uh, I think we had a strip. I forget how many turnovers we ended up with. Yeah, but was yeah it three turnovers. Yeah, three forced fumbles in the, yeah. the pick. Yeah. But is Jalen Phillips, I know he left the game. He left in, I don't remember when, but I yeah. want to say by halftime he was already done. How about yeah. Mike and Bird holding in the spot for Connor Williams for a little bit? He looked decent, right? He looked decent. Stop. But I we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. I won't we're do not that. gonna do that because Connor's that. been fucking amazing outside of still some weird snap issues. Yeah. Uh where two like jumping up to get the ball. But Connor Williams is great and he better play this weekend against Buffalo. That's yeah. that's we need, need Connor there. Armstead was cool, phenomenal as always. Waddle, I mean Waddle should play, but he didn't he didn't practice these past. He still doesn't practice either. I think he's still in the protocol. But but, like, but I was reading he was something he's too. Like, it's, he was, it's 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 still something with his oblique I'm hearing. Oh really? So I'm pretty sure I read that. Yeah. He got hurt in practice. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking. I'm talking Waddle. Waddle. That's what oh, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You said, Waddle, yeah. Well, that's Waddle. what that's what I thought too. But the, yeah, he hasn't practiced. And then if you're saying this oblique thing, well, yeah, because yeah, that was his original injury that he missed. He didn't practice yesterday. Uh, I think yesterday, yesterday off, and I think today was like the first day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we won't know until tomorrow the actual injury report coming out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is an all hand on on deck game, and then yeah, next week we could just. If you're hurt, we'll yeah, sit yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, uh, Which is why I also yeah, think Jalen yes, said this yes, week. Yes. Connor Williams probably got a little tweaked up. Jalen Phillips got a little tweaked up. Well, we're up, six, we're six, up yeah. blowing up these yeah. guys. Why are you going to have them out there why if they're a little shaken up? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Why Like, why are you going to put them out there? When, like, Belen used to get killed by Columbus. He's just mad. Yeah. Talk about coming back. Like, we talked about how Toronto Armstead just took our whole light tackle. Well, we gotta talk about I that. Love that. But there's people that deserve recognition. Austin Jackson has been yeah. much and better. And Isaiah Wynn, dude. Fan, fan base has shit on him, and I've always been a fan of his because he's a young tackle, and I think tackles take a little bit longer to develop. Isaiah Wynn over Eichenberg has been a godsend. Everything. It's yeah. been everything. Yeah. It's been everything. The guys have given up a pressure this year. And I think we took for granted also how much of a better offense we are when Maltz starts healthy because mm-hmm. he is a great. Great. And, then, and yeah, now we have Barry Sanders back in the up all right. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Jeff Wilson on the way. Yeah, and uh, I look good both mm-hmm. games that he played. I think for the first time in my life as a Dolphin fan, I've never felt that my team is so deep. Like, 
Shit, yeah. Ogwe is playing 35% of yeah. snaps. Yeah, I know. And he's a $10 million player. Yeah. We're loaded at a bunch no, of positions. No, we're loaded. We're loaded. We're loaded. And, he, and he's picking up steam. If you look at the last two games, Ogwe actually, like, last he's week, he played it. more snaps because Phillips didn't play. He yeah. played a decent amount this weekend. He's he got looked good again. Now. He's got to make the most of it because it's now, he gets, next year he's not going to be with yeah. us and he needs to get him. Oh, yeah. He's credit. I don't his name yet. AVG. Andrew Van Ginkle. Van Ginkle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He's having a monster. Everywhere. Monster. He's been a monster. He's in every single play. And he was like that last year, too. That's why when in the offseason, he was getting recruited by the Cowboys. And he was willing to take less to stay here. And I thought that was a huge win for us. Well, apparently, I heard that Fangio called him and told him to come back. Yeah, he is a Fangio, he's a Fangio guy. Yeah. Fangio wanted him back. Yeah. Dude, he's been. He's been electric. He's, Cater's been great, too. Cater. I think quarterback it went from a one trick pony position for us because I mean in, in the entire time that we signed Byron Jones he basically didn't play so it was Xavier right. Howard and before we had Cater it was you know a bunch of dress yeah. house we're deep at corner deep at safety deep at defensive end I think we're a little thin at tackle I think it's I think Zeeler and, and Wilkins are great right but outside of that I don't think we have that many yeah. tackles right. and linebacker yeah been great yeah David Long was like Big. a sneaky signing for us this year. Uh, yeah, steal too. Baker. Was, well, when is Brent, is Brent, Brent Jones isn't even back yet? When is Brent? Jones? He's, he's back. back. He's, he's technically back. back. He's just not playing yet. Yeah. He's also, yeah. also playing yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, because if he comes back too, like, which adds that. Which there's that. inside. What inside information? <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm ready for this. Uh, was it McKinley was supposed to start week one and he did it. No one knows what I, I don't know the reason why, but McKinley was supposed to be the starter week one. And then Elliot came in and has played well, yeah. but McKinley ended up getting put on the practice squad. Yeah. And then practice squad gets signed back onto the, 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 the roster. 52 man roster. And, but still hasn't played, but like he was told that he was going to play week one and then gets cut. That's great. It's, it's what they do to, uh, <laughs> what they also do to do that is so they don't have to guarantee your contract for the whole season because if you're on the 50, open 53 it's yeah. guaranteed so they'll cut you like the that, that, there's, definitely, there's definitely there's definitely a play on that but one thing is making the roster and one thing's playing no, like I being agree, the opening day starter that to me was weird we because McKinney Bethel who's one of our best special teamers and then brought and him he, right back they brought it and he played a crap load this no, last he's week he's awesome he's one of our best special I, teamers I, I, think, I think the problem is there too Fangio is still trying to figure out who the hell can play where he doesn't know. He just got he just got these guys. Brandon Jones obviously was hurt all of trading camp for the most part. Um, obviously Holland was a, was gonna be a for sure starter. Kohu was gonna be a for sure X was good. Outside of that, everything was like an open game. And the line, but yeah, the, the line and, right. right. And yeah, and the line. But outside of that, like safety position, which we didn't think was gonna be a competition, yeah. ended up being a huge open competition. And uh, I still think it's any like it's a week to week thing. But I like those defense has been like steadily improving. It is, but I, maybe this could be the segue into into Buffalo this week. This is going to be our biggest test, in my opinion. No, for sure. I mean, this or the, well, the, Eagles, listen, the Chargers. The Chargers was a big was a big test. I mean, but, great, I mean our secondary didn't really get tested yeah. because they ran the fuck out of the ball on yeah. us and uh, which has scored. Been fixed, which has been fair. I think yesterday we only been fixed. Been yeah, and I don't expect yeah. I don't expect a Buffalo to run the ball on us either. It's but Johnson Stephon the Johnson. Stephon Diggs versus X matchup, I'm very curious how that's yeah, going to I mean, go. For us, well, the two games that I circled that I knew were. Our toughest road games were Buffalo this week and then Phil- at Philly yeah, on Sunday, Sunday Night, night Football. Those great. are going to be – and I'm talking about tests in the greater picture of whether you're a Super Bowl, right. really like, Super Bowl favorite exactly. or you're just in the, in the hunt, you know. And why I'm so scared of Buffalo is, A, we have played Josh Allen I don't know how many times. We cannot tackle him. We never tackle him. He escapes. He runs all over yeah. us. He, he kills us a, with his legs he, every single time. He's a quarterback time. that absolutely kills us. Yeah, because we, we like to play soft coverage. We right. play back. We don't want to give up the big play. And what does that do? Josh Allen goes like this. He drops, and then he goes and runs for seven, guys, eight yards. Guys, 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 guys. guys. <laughs> he's slow. He's going to run. He's going to get some run, but he's not going to just extend as many plays. Listen, here's the thing with Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a loser. All right. <laughs> we are going to shut his ass down this okay. weekend. We are going to walk into Buffalo, kick door, kick open the doors, 
and beat the living shit out of that team. <laughs> we, I am so ready for Buffalo. The, first off, all three, we could have won all three games last year. Uh, we won, obviously, one of them. We definitely could. We've, we this is the been, best yeah. we've played Buffalo in like in a stretch oh, yeah. of games. Listen, and Josh Allen. Is Josh, cool. listen, I've always said Josh Allen is fantastic. Obviously, like I, I actually think he's the second best. He's his fantasy quarterback. quarterback. Yes, um, which cost I'm, a week one against me, but drop him this week, honestly. Um, <laughs> Josh Allen's obviously very good. I honestly think that uh, McDermott stinks as a coach. Uh, I think he's the most overrated coach in the NFL. I think Daniels is way better, and they're so Josh Allen dependent. And granted, we haven't been able to stop Josh Allen because it's very hard to contain him. Right. He's that good, but I have never been so confident in the Dolphins that I think we're going to kick the doors down in Buffalo and beat them 40 to zero. He <laughs> <laughs> did call 40 to zero this last week. I said, I said win by 40, baby. What's, what's, do you remember the euphoria when Ziedler t- tackled the Josh Allen yes. in that quarter? Touch on literally that I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna win a playoff game. Yeah. Um, I think mean, we were down 17-0 in that game yeah. too. Shout out Skylar Thompson. Shout out Skylar. Took us right. tough place to play, but I, why I'm very scared that defense is off a complete ass whooping of the Commanders. They got a great pass rush. Yeah, this is the best pass rush we're gonna face on the interior. Shout out Greg Rousseau. Stop. Do you baby? Stop. No. No. Yes. Come Stop. on. Stop. I'm Stop. never not gonna show. I shout Stop. out to you, Emma. We played. Khalil Mack and Joey Boza. Like, those guys I think those guys are past it a little bit. Khalil Mack, probably Joe Boza. Mack, Mack, maybe. Boza, no. Uh, Mac, dude, Mac, I don't think Mac actually Mac, had a Mac, QB Mac, practice. Yeah, Mac hasn't done anything. Like I yeah, saw, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I saw that too. They've been getting torched by everybody. The thing about, yeah. 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 yeah they, I also played like three pretty good. I think they played the Vikings, so I'm good offense. So I'm good offense. I'm good offense. They played the, the, the Patriots. The Patriots don't have a bad uh, pass rush either, though, between Judon and Uche. I agree, but I'm, this is a hostile environment. <laughs> I, I knew this is the, the most hostile environment for yeah, sure. I, I knew the Patriots weren't going to score and yeah. get beat us in a shootout. Uh, I hope well, Buffalo will be in the game, I'm not you that would we assume. Can win this game. Which I will just, keep the crowd in the game. I'm cautiously optimistic that we can win this game. I'm ready. As opposed to. He's going to beat himself because he makes a lot of mistakes. He's going to make mistakes. He's going to make mistakes. And, and like, I forget who said it, and they, they made a good point. Josh Allen is going to be very good for a lot of games, but there's going to be a couple games in between where he's just. Gonna have one of those we're, games, we're and he had one in the beginning of the yeah, year. That cost Jets. it. He, he yeah. literally lost to the Jets. He, he by likes himself. to he likes to do too much sometimes, and if you can get him uncomfortable, which yeah. I think that's what we've done well, very well the last is, few years. There's gonna be the, the pressure. Like we we need to, and first off, dial yeah. it up. Yeah, we need to dial up the pressure. I mean, it's actually like I I read something that he, they've actually limited his running plays. Like, cause, I mean, he still runs, obviously. See, but like, because when he runs, he bro, does the opposite. It takes care of yeah, He's so hurtling. So he's lowering his shoulder. So and, like, one so of those days. the hell out, man. I, I'm you know who? Vaughn. Hell yeah. This guy right here. Vaughn, I want another two forced fumbles, please. Thank if you. anybody can lay the wood on a on a QB of his size, it's him. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh Allen is a big dude. I, I also want, yeah. I, I also would love another big Chuck game. Um, he was huge for us against the Pats. Yeah. And so I, it's just going to be, uh, we just have to make him uncomfortable. Because, like, big, I mean, I think we're going to, I think I think it's going to be, obviously, it's going to be, I'm obviously, you know, love talking shit. I'm going to predict 40s over time. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. I think, obviously, Buffalo's still very, very good. I just, like, I think that we, like, I, I genuinely am going in pretty confident. Like, I, like, I, I am confident, I am confident too. I want to say, I, just because I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 zero. I When's the last time we won in Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I think we're like 0 for 8 in the last four seasons. Or yeah. Four, so the last four, four, I mean, last year, the snow game, I mean, we could have we could have won, yeah. We th- and yeah, the playoff game and the Four slow game, we we could have won yeah. both of those games. Yeah, and it's, no, the other one dropped. Uh, was it Chase? No, that's no Chase Evans dropped against. Bengals. No, that was against the Bengals. Oh, God, yeah. Then we traded him right after. I think he's on. He's on Broncos. I think he's in the Cardinals actually. Oh really? Yeah, he might be on Cardinals. Um, I. I don't know. This would be the a Miami Dolphins if you beat the Buffalo Bills. Bills. You blow them out, and then you're a Super Bowl favorite. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, not blow them out. Not 70 to 20. 20 the right. last time we won there was 2016. Yeah, it's December yeah. 2016. I think it's seven years ago. You won by points and blew them out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I, I was going to say if you win 35 <laughs> 20, now. you know, I'll control <laughs> the game. I want to see this is also the best run defense we're going to play. So yeah. I'm, I'm very excited. The, um, the thing is, too, what I think Mike McDaniels does better than, like, honestly, probably outside of Belichick is he is a guy that devises a plan specific to 
that team that you're playing. Right. We've beat everyone in a completely different way. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, a completely different way. You know, we we did a little mix of pass and run uh, against the ball, uh, against so. the Patriots. I mean, we were all pass against the Chargers. Yeah. Literally all pass <laughs> against the Chargers. Yeah. This week, I think, is a little bit of an anomaly where we literally did both perfectly. Yeah. yeah. But you can so, tell. Really so you can tell the running game joke, though. The, joke. the running game and the running back specifically were the priority. Getting the rookie involved. Obviously, well, we most were, yeah, we were also up by so much, we were just like running, running, running. Like exactly. Point, you got to the and when two, the yeah, and when two did throw the ball, a lot of them were going to the running yeah, backs. We were also, yeah, he was actually like he was sixteen for sixteen at one point. I know. Two hundred. Yeah, yeah. It was, ah, it was like stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm so worried about about this team, and this is I am not a, no way to a hater. I think he's a fantastic quarterback. He's playing like the best quarterback in the league. This team's gonna get challenged when it gets because we don't play in these conditions when it yeah. gets cold and when it gets wet. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the big test. So we played well in the snow last well, year, though. Well, he, did, I will, he did. I'm talking about wet. Yeah, yeah. Rainy. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I will is say. Is it supposed to rain in Buffalo it, this weekend? It, it, no, no, no. no okay. Okay. Just the, the rule of thumb is October. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. It, 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 in terms, I because I, I was I, I thought about that too because obviously notoriously we are like that. Uh, we actually have a pretty good. Like snow no, game s- no, no, no. Like schedule wise, like November, December is yeah, like yeah. Pretty, pretty in our favor. And we got a yeah, lot of in terms games. of that, exactly. It's very in our favor there. But yes, I agree. Like that's where I mean, you know, we can win all we want in September. It doesn't matter if we exactly. are losing in November. That's why it's good. So that's like, we established a run game well, early in the season. It's, like, yeah, and it's huge. Well, think about it. Defenses too, now like, have to pull up. I'm sorry. Like if if, if you like how, so how the hard. Patriots did. So hard you want to send ten, three like, safeties <laughs> deep on us? Go ahead. Yeah. We are going to run the ball on you. Like yeah, that is. More, I think that was a more effective strategy than the other two. Like if I'm an opposing defense coordinator. I'm taking Belichick's game plan, keeping everything in front of you until the 20-yard line, and then trying to you know win one-on-one matchups inside the red zone. And yeah. Forcing because it's we're gonna move the ball, we're gonna get yards, we're gonna get chunk plays, right. we're gonna get guys in space. Also, another thing that's been amazing is our red zone offense. Little penalties, man. Yeah. I've never yeah, seen yeah. a Dolphin team yeah. that doesn't make mistakes mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, not Remember true. Remember the, the Tannehill years where it's just <laughs> yeah. we're like leading, holding, we're yeah. like leading the league. No, holding, holding calls Larry always murder. False starts. <laughs> I I think also better. The, what's better this year so far than than last yeah. year is our red zone offense. Yeah, like absolutely. the creativity yeah, it's insane. It's insane. with the play calling. To a like pass. across the board, it's been really good. But yeah. like you said, the no look pass. Is because, like we had not. We didn't see any of that last year. Yeah. And I think we've like McDaniel's has learned how to open up the hell out of this playbook yeah. and that inside the twenty because that's where it's hardest to score. You can drive the football all you want downfield. But inside the twenty, if you're not scoring touchdowns, you're going to lose games. Like you got to can't keep me kicking gotta, field goals, especially against teams field. like the Bills, the Chiefs. We're playing like Canadian football. Our guys are getting running starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what he does. That's, a lot of yeah. time, Reek is literally getting it's a running start. Game, like in that, yeah. yeah. Everybody's, Everybody's going to start copying that very yeah. soon. Yeah. No, and, and Tua gets the ball out of his hands insanely fast. Yeah. Like, but you're only able to do that because of the speed that you have. He's. It's not like he's getting it insanely out of his. It's Insanely fast out of his hands, and he's throwing it five yards. Yeah, he's throwing it ten yards downfield because Tyreek can get there that quickly. Yeah, and so Barrios is, is fast, fast too. Yeah. Oh, so is chosen. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's not your. Yeah, like, like it's just speed everywhere. 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 speed everywhere. Speed everywhere. That's why you have to use on the pick and And the only way, hypothetically, yes. to kill the speed is you got to have that speed on defense. And I don't know if there's a team that has enough speed on defense to be able to stop that. Like, I love the Bills have amazing safeties. They probably have the best safeties in the NFL, but like, you need them to come up now. Now we have 4 2 coming out of the We have two four two guys coming out of the backfield. Yeah. You can't leave Jordan Poyer and Mike Hyde 20 yards downfield. You need them up. It's all, but they're, they're, they're going to pressure us. They're going to yeah. blitz. They're going to yeah. blitz. Yeah. And two has been great getting the ball out quickly. Yeah. Way. yeah. But they're going to. But two, two, is, two is the best against the Blitz right you know now. You know so much for the Bills? Oh, no. Dude, he, yes. He's he's well, he, first off, he's dirty as hell. He's, I was he's the say, one he's, who took out Tua essentially last year. Yeah. And he, dude, he does, he does him it. Him and, and the Bengals guy. He's just good. dirty as hell. The Bengals kid. Uh, and um, Hutchinson? Is it Hutchinson? Or the other guy? Henderson? Hender? It's Hen- I think it's Henderson. Hendrickson. Hendrickson. Trey Hendrickson. Yeah, the yeah. guy in the Bengals. Yeah, yeah. He's dirty too. Last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a monster. Um, but. but no, that Milano is very good. Um, I also want to blindside his ass on a block, run play. 
Um, oh, it's hot. Yeah, the, that, yeah. That that camera that camera only got charged up to like two bars, so I don't know how how, how long we're into yeah. it, but it's all good. Okay. Um, I want to jump in. Well, you, before we go, Ryder Cup. Yeah. Well, let's say predictions for the Feds games. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna give. I'll give my lock of the week. Okay. Dolphins money line. I mean, it was lock plus. I think like to one twenty five. I, I don't know what the spread's at now, but it, it was we're, at two and a half. Two and a half. I'm just taking straight money line. Plus one twenty five. Hammer, hammer, hammer. That's my lock of the week. I like it. Yeah. Were, we, were we doing actual locks a week, or he's the, he's uh, just locking oh, I mean, fans I, I, right I'll now? I'll give a score four to zero. I mean four to zero. <laughs> I got Campbell. Dolphins thirty one twenty seven. Last minute two minute drive to leads his town field. Let's go. Touchdown to oh, Dirk I like that. Let's go. I don't want that to be the case, but I'll take it. I just like the anxiety of that. I love it, man. Just out. Just give me a call. Give me a bottle of blonde on Sunday. Yeah. I got. <laughs> I want to. I'd be sick. Yeah, he was saying that. I'm like, I'll, I'll I, I, I kind of actually sounds like a good time. It's probably gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get another 10k bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Danny, Danny's not allowed in bottle blonde. Either, no, so. I, yeah, ever again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go Finns. Um, 28, and then I'm gonna go Buffalo 17. Hey. I like that. I think oh, I think defense is gonna show the fuck up. Let's go. I think this is like a defense wins the game type of Are thing. Are we doing lock of the weeks as well, like just a neutral lock of the week, like, or is that? Well, I, we're, we're not gonna talk anything really else NFL. I would say yeah. so. If we have NFL, right? Is there anything I else you want to talk about this week? All right. Give it. Because then from there we can go straight to Ryder Cup. Yeah, we'll just do Ryder Cup rest of the way. So I mean, I'm got my lock is Dolphins money line. That's Eagles. Spread this week, they should blow out the Commanders. So you're going Eagles minus eight and a half. Yeah. Okay. That Commanders offense is on I'm pace to up give right up the most sacks in NFL yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. Are we going? Eagles got the best pass yeah. rush. It's at home. Eagles been on the road two weeks. Eagles by a jillion. Are we gonna just do one pick lock? Or are we gonna, one, make, one, are we gonna yeah, make a couple picks? Because I I do have a couple picks. Um, I got more than one. If you got another one too, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna go Fins. <laughs> I'm gonna go Fins with Dave. Yeah, yeah, Fins yeah, money yeah. line. I do feel like we're gonna win this game. But a couple p- games that I, you know, I think we gotta. This could go obviously either way. We gotta stack up the the wins a little bit. That's true. We do. I, well, I have a few, I have a few Ryder Cup picks. Okay. Okay. So. But for me, I'm not gonna pick anything college this week. But NFL, I do think the Ravens beat the Browns in uh, Cleveland. Okay. I think Ravens just like are like gonna like figure something yeah. out. I know they're beat up. The Browns look like they figured something out last week, but I, I still like historically Harbaugh doesn't lose two games in a row. It's a division game. I think the Ravens show up and they win that game. Um, and then the game that is crazy to me, they have Dallas as seven point favorites against the Patriots. I love New England this week as well. I'm not gonna pick New England to win. Even though I do oh, think they could really win that game, 100%. But I, like I do think they cover the seven yeah, points. I, like, I like that, but... Mac Jones has been playing well uh, enough to keep in games. That's QB number 29. I know, <laughs> but he's, I'm, just, I'm not saying he's good. He's been playing well enough to, to keep him in games. The defense is playing well. And the Cowboys looked terrible last week. Um, so, yeah. And then the Giants somehow are favored against the Seahawks. So, I'm picking the Seahawks to win. All right. So, I got two NFL picks for you. I think the market really inflated the Colts uh, after their win against the Ravens. I would take Rams money line. It's plus one and a half right now. You can take that also. But it's got a low total. There's a bunch of good systems on it. I'd take the Rams. And I think the Chargers might beat the Raiders by 30 points this week. The Raiders are pathetic. And I, think, I'm a sour and I, I don't think Garoppolo's fair, playing. I'm a sour better. I'm a yeah. sour better from Sunday Night Football. Even though. Because I think the Steelers not coming. I hate to say it. Garoppolo not playing might be a good thing. For yeah, them. I like Aiden O'Connell the backup. I just think it's a it's a big. The Chargers basically hadn't won a game since t- they gave up a twenty eight zero lead. It was all tailspin. Now they get a big red zone interception. I think they just come too. out and destroy the Raiders. <laughs> Dude, I, I might have uh, to I don't disagree with I, that. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> This might be the ugliest play of all time, and it's just so ugly that I might have to take it. What? I'm taking the Bears Broncos over. <laughs> oh wow! That's I, sicko. I kind of wanted to touch Ooh, that game, but sicko. I'm gonna take that. The battle of the bums. Um, I need a big week from Justin Fields. I'm one week away so. from dropping him, and I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think a lot of people already have. Away from dropping yeah. Yeah. I, am I feel like this is the week where you Bro, give I, it to I, him I to get that chance. You can't score on this Broncos Bro. offense. That's it. Well, that's yeah. Exactly. The Broncos defense is ass. 
The Bears defense is just as ass. Broncos just got beat by 50. Yeah. Best believe they're going to go out and try to put some points. Bears are have to do something. The I think this, I'm going to take it over 46. They, they should just love the game. That. But I like I'm that. Take it. I'm taking it. I like that. Yeah, I like that. It's the ugliest game of the weekend. Battle of the bums. <laughs> I, saw, the bums. I saw a tweet where it was like, they should move this game to 4 a.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they, they, Dolphins just go there until 1 p.m. Yeah, they, the thing is, they, they just can't flex. They, until yeah, after it's, too er, it's too early, yeah. Uh, I wish. But it should be a primetime game, 100%. 100% should be a, a primetime. Yeah. yeah, especially that some of these primetime games to start ass. the year are just terrible, bro. Chiefs versus the Jets on Sunday Night Football, like... Yeah, but think about it. When they scheduled that, oh, no, yeah, I was that's this. the problem. And yeah, they, they just can't flex those games yet. But uh, <laughs> anybody else got any other picks? Rogers, uh, Packers, you know, I'm Rogers right. and yeah. Mahomes have never played against each other. Yeah, that is that All is three crazy times. Thing. Mahomes ankle wow. sprain, Jesus Rogers Christ. COVID, and now this one. Now this. Wow. They've never got to play. I yeah I listen I've been backing the Packers every week. You have I just I might that might be another over because I love I do love this Lions team. Um, I think the Packers especially with Aaron Jones and Christian Watson is that uh, I think Thursday night Thursday night yeah. Yeah. Thursday night I like I the Packers. I like the, I'm with David I already I have a Packers money. I think they can absolutely beat the Lions. Let's get into um, the crux of the issue, buddy. Yes, we do. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Ryder yeah. Cup. Why we're here today? Why I'm decked out USA. <laughs> Uh, I would I would put this on, but I'm already like pretty stuffy as it is. But <laughs> yeah, you know, we're repping USA. Um, here. We yeah, it's it's a big it's a big week. Uh, Ryder Cup is one of the most fun events in the golf world. We're joined here obviously by our buddy Cambo, who's here to defend Team Europe. Oh, uh, uh, baby! USA, yeah. USA, Listen, USA. Never bet with your heart, bet with your mind and your wallet. Uh, I have been holding a Europe to win the Ryder Cup ticket since, I think, July. We've had it for a while. Yeah. I have gotten close to 50 points of closing line value. Mm-hmm. It's about to pick up now. I got plus 160. I uh, It's a two-unit play. It, I have opened my mouth like yeah. crazy to a golf group chat that David and I have, which usually means Europe is going to get stomped, but... There's just so much in my favor. Mine and David's favorite golfer. Is yeah, so yeah so I mean, top, Victor man. Hovland is on my team. And you got a bunch of good guys that I think are going to ball out. U- USA hasn't won in 30 years on European soil. Uh, conditions are terrible, which I think always favors international players. Mm. But do they have I, BDR? <laughs> big, big Rick. <laughs> here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I've and I've said it, and I've told you this. The value has absolutely been with Team Europe. Um, it has been for months. It's now kind of course corrected that they're more pickums now, or like you know maybe minus one ten, minus one hundred five. I, I think you could still get Europe yeah. at like plus one hundred five or something. I won't like be that. doing that. But um, yeah, that's a, just a double. <laughs> here's the thing. Like you mentioned, and like I mentioned on the first episode of this podcast, I am a Victor. Hovland stand. We got the Vic Hovland 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 shirt over here. Master shirt up there. Hovland is my guy. I started the Miami Hov Hive that my brother here is now a part of. I've I've I've, I've, I've cashed three outright tickets out on this year. Yeah, and countless top ten. Exactly. You know, he's we all Victor. He's my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. he is. And I said I I started the, the the Hov Hive back in 2020. I picked this random Norwegian, and I'm like, this is my guy. He's four awesome. years, four years later, he's the best player in the entire world. He is going to be an absolute problem this weekend. But like how he bets with his his wallet, I bet with my heart. I am rocking with the United States of America. I'm rocking the mullet like the, my fellow Americans. <laughs> we are going to. Win back-to-back Ryder Cups. We're going to storm Italy like it's 1943. <laughs> and we are going to, as it says here, back-to-back World, World War champions. We're going to be back-to-back Ryder Cup. We're going to break the streak. Everything, I honestly, is against in our favor because I agree with Purdue with everything he said. But I don't care. We are getting the job done this year in Italy. And that's that. I'm hyped right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. 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 Please.
please. <laughs> please. I've been literally hiding the mullet this whole time. I am um, um, rocking that, uh, the, the freedom mullet. Uh, shout out Brooks. Listen, the thing, the, the truthfully, um, everything he says, I, I agree with like the, the, you know, the value and the fact that, you know, we haven't won there in 30 years. I just think, I truly think that this USA team is They got a chip deeper. on their shoulder too. It's, it's deeper. They should, I mean, they have. It's deeper, it's, but they picked it. Justin Thomas, who shouldn't be on. Hey, you say he played the other day? He's on, back. We're, we're, we're he is back. He is a competitor. Do not talk crap about what? JT. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. He was a little he's, lost out there. He has played, played, he has played wonderful in the Ryder Cup. Hear me out, though. I told David at the start of the year <laughs> that this was a J- fade JT season. That he was not going to make cuts at majors. He was going to struggle. That's your pass. Here's, here's, my, here's my counter. With all, I think the USA made one critical error, and then it's not bringing Keegan Bradley to Ryder Cup. I felt that he was Keegan. playing. I agree. He was playing great. He was playing Sam great. Burns has won the Dell match play. He had won one tournament that's this right. year. That's great. Uh, yeah. Outside of that, not good enough. I think Keegan Bradley would have been a huge value add to I, this I team. I don't disagree with that. I when I I would have been less confident had they done the. I, I get taking JT. He's Mr. Ryder Cup, whatever. Yeah. But had they. Had they had the balls to bring Keegan Bradley instead of Sam Burns, I would have been like, wow, this roster is loaded. There's definitely a little bit of a... you got to go with some of the top guys. Best no, friends. I agree. you gotta, you got to play who's hot. I mean, well, Keegan Bradley is one ma- of the hottest the golfers. Too. There's, there's a little bit of a favoritism that seems yeah, to play in Team it's, USA where yeah. it's like they're boys. You got to play go historically well friends. together. And there's a chemistry there, you know, so you, you definitely can't discount that. Um, because it does stink for a guy like like Brad. I thought about because I thought, guy I thought, guy played yeah, well. He knew he played well. Yeah. Everyone he knew he deserved that shot. In the last uh, tour championship, he was, he yeah, was, he was, on, he was on fire. I mean, dude, that's, uh, the last five tournaments, there was yeah. no one really playing better golf than him. He crushed David and I. There, besides Hobbs. There was one man playing yeah. better than him. But, besides uh, Hobbs. Remember when he crushed our... Um, <laughs> he did. It was... Danny McCarthy to yeah, win the players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Danny McCarthy minus 10 on the first day. and um, That was 71 to 1. Yeah. But uh, the thing with this team and the Europe... You Europe think has you think two, you're the deeper two worst than players I for sure. Yes. Robert McIntyre's worst player <laughs> of the I'm no disrespect. He's a right, golfer. Right. Yeah, he's all, the, I mean, but you're talking about some of the best golfers yeah, yeah, in the world. So. He's the worst and, player yeah. in the field, and Nikolai Horgard has won a couple times Sweet on the yes. Tour. Not not at the level. I just think the core four of Rory, Rom, Hav, Fleetwood is. But just better. like just like how you were talking about JT, I don't think Rom's playing good golf right now. I don't agree with that. He's not. He was. He's actually having the exact opposite year that Scotty had last year. Scotty right. went on that tear up until the Masters, right. and then had to come down. And then Rom, well, literally on the biggest tear of life, life. until the Masters, yeah. kind of come down too. Um, but Rom is still. I mean, I'm still like you. You see Rom? Ah, up no, there no, no, Rom, like, dude. Are you kidding me? Rom's so, so, but up there at top three best golfers yeah. right now. The yeah, thing, like there's no. Yeah. But he seems to be a guy that's in his head, and the moment he kind of just is a little off in his game, he's not He's not going to win. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know how he and, played and, in the... And, and Rory's a beta. Rory's as beta as they come. So I'm not <laughs> scared of Rory. <laughs> Rory's playing good. Rory was playing he's good Rory's golf though at the end. He's, he's, he's a beta. Well, I, I think it goes into it too. Who's playing... Golf is one of those things, dude. You're, when you're I mean, playing good, you're playing good. And when you're not on, you're, you're not on. sneaky guys that I think are going to be really good for you. Sam Straka. I think it's the guys in the middle. Wonderful year. He's a what I would call a birdie streaker. When he gets hot, he gets rolling, and he can really, really score. I don't think Matthew Fitzpatrick was necessarily going to have the same yeah, exact Ryder Cup. Really? You see that? Well, that's why I, I think the opposite. Blender. Fitzpatrick is playing good at the end of the year. That's what I'm saying. He just won also on the DP World yeah. Tour. I don't think he's going to have as bad as the Ryder Cup as he's had. In, in oh yeah, yeah. Ground. No, I think that's I think he I'm goes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah like he's. I think he goes player. out there and plays pretty well. And I wonder who the pairings are going to be too. That's that's actually also like the. Oh, of course, player. that makes you a huge difference. First on this pod, it's the best golfer that no one knows about is Ludwig Abert. He is fantastic. He's the longest hitter of everybody in the driver in the Ryder Cup he stormed the scene this year on the DP World Tour I think it is like six start won an event he's 20 years old something about the Swedes man yeah <laughs> no, I mean listen but I'm, I, I think he's a stud too it's just and they like, weren't going to take him he didn't qualify on points 
and they he was a captain's pick, which yeah. showed me that they mean business and yeah. they want real well, they're competitive going, golfers out there. Stop. It. JT literally the reason JT's there is literally because I hope for your the, guys the, crowd, the crowds are so wild that he's saying you need the heels. I agree. And, and why, I, that's why I actually guys wanted saying, DJ also. I hope yeah. I hope JT plays well. But yeah. if he plays bad and costs the USA it, 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 that would be the I'm going Oh, it's to gonna come back and that, everybody. Of course, yeah. That yeah. that's the pick that's gonna come back and haunt them. They're gonna be like, well, what, what, you, yeah. you knew what was what was but going on with this game. I Why did you take it? Like savage. I with, think Wyndham yes. Clark is he loves to play the role like he went everybody's cheering yeah. for Ricky at the US Open yeah, and he just, yeah, just put his boom. head down and did it. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about guys like JT. Be. Speed didn't honestly play well for the last no. three months. Yeah, so yeah. Ricky. A That's better good. year, but you know, I'm not 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 necessarily sure. Yeah. I don't think Sam Burns is going to play well at all. And then the rest of the guys, you know, Ricky yeah. got hot there for a now? second. I don't. I agree. He kind of cooled down yeah. there towards the end. But I think this is an event where Ricky kind of like rallies around the crowd and like yeah, he feeds it. Hype he feeds in these type uh, of environments I'm, too. The ones I'm curious to see too. I'm curious to see how Homa plays because Homa's been like a, he's like a roller coaster. Um, I think Brooks is he's built for these things. Yeah. Brooks. Um, I mean, the, the, the best team, Brooks period. to lead the point, uh, USA in points. Um, I have Brooks to lead the USA in points and Hovland to win. Yeah. Those are homer picks. We love um, those guys. Um, the pairing, obviously, the Xander and uh, Xander and Cantley are, are the turning the group. I, if I was Europe, I would throw Hovland and Aberg at yeah, them. You probably have to. And, or, or Rory. Or Rory and Tommy. Yeah. But do you think that that, that would be, because I've seen, what I've read is that it's going to be Rory Chano. Fleetwood, uh, Rom and Hav Aberg, and then Fitz and uh, and maybe Rose. I think um, I, I can see that. I just something Rose, like that. Like, I, honestly, just I can't. Like, I can't make it. Right. Shane Lauer played okay. Shane, a, Shane Dan was, was a controversial one. Yeah, actually, he was the opposite, opposite ends. He was he was a controversial pick for Europe. Yeah, over who? There's he uh, made it over. Uh, Ramless Hogard is Nikolai's brother. He's had a good yeah, game. Okay. There's a bunch of guys. Oh, like Haddon 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 Haddon, actually, it's had it was yeah. Haddon and Fitzpatrick were the two. I think Robert yeah. McIntyre. For as little as I think he is, he finished second next to Rory in the tournament right before uh, the the Open. Um, he qualified on points. He was a he was not a captain's pick. He was a qualification okay, pick. Gotcha. So he had a good year. Yeah, he's very inexperienced. Lefty hits the ball great. Yeah. Oh no, he, I don't think he's lefty actually. He maybe back in time. But I I I just certainly think when you look at it, Europe I think has a little bit more chemistry. They, they, they're coming off a loss. Rome is like uh, the rough is terrible. It's like the, I've seen the videos of well, the rough. You know what's it's crazy wild. about the Ryder Cup too that I that I learned too is that that the home like teams so in this case Europe they actually set everything. Yeah. Like they said they can set course, everything in their favor, home, 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 uh, home which is like an awesome crazy thing. But like the thing is just like. First of all, I, I do think that, you know, it can go either way. Like, if Europe wins, like, I wouldn't be shocked. Right. Um, but it's just, like, this, the USA team is, I mean, dude, you've got Cantlay, Xander as a team. I mean, you've got Scotty, who, outside of Hovland, is probably the best player in the world. Are you um, gonna, who do you pair Scotty with? Do you pair him with Sam Burns? Burns? Especially because... Oh, but then you're trotting out number 12 with number one. Yes, but you can, it, the mix of them, because they're... Pretty much like best friends and and Burns and you know matchup like it's the only tournament he won this year. Um, I think you kind of rock with it. I mean, maybe they don't. Maybe they put him with. I don't know. Who that, like, it's because one pair is they, Spieth if, and, if and they, JT. That's that's one. Yeah. Yes and no though, because they there's they, they don't there's, play the ball together. There's just and it's also like out of out of honestly everyone on the USA team, obviously JT and Spieth are probably right now in terms of how they're playing. The yeah, low, they're the not low, probably yeah they're, they're not the strongest. Like, yeah. You know what's so I funny? Think, I think if I was if I was Team USA, I'd probably put like I probably honestly I put Scotty Brooks together. Homa and Hol, Colin. Hol, Homa Colin, Xander, um, Cantlay, and um, Clark and Hobbs. I love that Xander and Cantlay duo. Clark and Brooks too. Or Clark and Brooks. Like any, they're, they're, I think they're those tight. should be the eight that are rocking the, so, the four ball. Um, or the, the the thing is yeah because it's four, it's it's four ball and then the there's the the alternate shot right is on Saturday that's that's the one I think should be uh, some partnered with people that you're comfortable can, playing they with. can change the pairing and, from Friday to Saturday yeah right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so um, what sucks man is this thing started one in the morning yes yeah, and awful. it starts Friday I thought it was Thursday it's a Friday start um, one in the morning 
I think, yeah, that's first tee off. I just like, I don't know, man. I just think there's like these, the, the guys in USA, like Brooks and, and Clark and, um, and JT and even Ricky to an extent that not all of them are like heels, but like they play into yeah, the atmosphere. 100%. And I mean, and technically Scotty too, like Scotty's a quiet dude, but like, I mean, Scotty's back to back champs at, uh, at, uh, he's a quiet dude, but the guy, the guy knows how to win. I mean, yeah, there's he's, no, he's, he's very good. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, the guy knows the how to handle Scotty pressure situations and stuffing him in a locker all year. But but Scotty, Scotty also met with still, a putting guru. He did. I did see that. I saw it. Also, too. English guy, so it could be a double agent. <laughs> I'm not putting that past. I'm not putting that past Team Europe. Oh, Sending fuck. a double agent to, 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 to deal with Scotty's putting. Scotty's putting is, is is by far his biggest issue. Um, but you know, an alternate shot. I mean, that's that's why I think alternate shot. I think the the best ball. I think you have to put Scotty with like a Brooks or like someone to that that's level. What I'm saying, and, like, and you bench Burns for that one, and you bring Burns for the alternate shot with Scotty. Well, if, Scott, if Scotty's like, putt, putting is going to continue the way it is, just find someone that's going to putt. My alternate shot pick would be Rory and Hov because you, of what yes. they did, and you put them against Xander. Xander and Kenley are are locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. both events. They like, they, they, they play locked. so well together. They're amazing. You yeah. ha- for Europe, you'd have to put. I think you'd have to put Rory and Hov. They shot um, fifty six. Um, if yeah. you took their front nine and their back nine of the BMW final wow. day, they would have shot a fifty six. Yeah, yeah. On best ball, so yeah. it's actually so sick. It's actually just like in general, just a cool ass event. Um, I can't wait to actually like I want to go in two years when it's back in the states. Um, but. Where, where is but, that um, in, in the States when it's back here? Have, do you have the announcement? They, they have announced that. Oh, okay. We'll mention it. But um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just, I think that, I just think that, that, that these guys like kind of know, like they're coming in, like knowing, obviously, you know, Europe has a side of, you know, we lost last time. We need to defend home turf. Yeah. We win it here every time. But then the Americans. What's the margin of? Did they oh, get crushed? Was it close? Oh, last two years ago, crushed. Oh, crushed. Yeah, like it was the biggest one of the biggest blowouts. It was a whoop history. So like like there's that's the, the that aspect of you know wanting revenge plays inside of Europe, but it's also like it just it's also a testament to the U.S. Like I mean they're still like you know the out of the top four golfers in the world, I do think three of them are European. Out of the top ten golfers in the world. Right. Probably the 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 other you know yeah, five through ten I agree with that. is still dominated by the U.S. Um, and that they're just so just deeper. Like, they're deep. Yeah. Um, but like once again, like I am really though. It's from my understanding, probably your best eight guys are the people that play every day. Yes. is really what matters. Mm. Like because each team is going to yeah. have players yeah, that don't, some guys are not going to play. play. Yeah. Yes and yes to yes and no because. The biggest day, though, is still Sunday where everyone has to play, and that's where you get the most points. Yeah. Because all 12 have to play, and you're playing for 12 points out of the 20. And it's 12 single matches. 12 singles. Everyone goes one-on-one. It's sick. Yeah. And so, at that point, you have to match. You're going to have to match. Like, if I'm if I'm Team USA and Team Europe, um, I think you're putting Scotty on with probably, honestly, well, it kind of depends on. I put Scotty on, on Hobbit. You probably have to put Scotty with Hov. Yep. Which is not a great match for the USA. Locker stuff. Um, <laughs> but then you probably have to put... Well, you also... I mean, also something you could determine whoever's the hottest golfer yeah, going that's into that's Sunday, that's too. That's true. Then you, People yeah, with you, the most points I mean, you pick up. Because USA yeah. top four... So some of the top golfers cannot pick up points. And right. They're yeah. struggling, so... Yeah. Yeah. The top... Because top four on this USA team are... I think it's Scotty Brooks, probably Xander Cantlay right yeah. now. Um, I would say my personal top four... I feel like this is kind of a bird's pick, but I would make it Scotty Brooks. Based on this year, Homa, and then I yeah. can't. I, I, I was gonna say, I, I think I, I think I would put Homa in there in terms of because he didn't play in the last Ryder Cup. This is his first Ryder Cup. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm very curious to see how he plays in that environment. Yeah, everybody forgets he had a really good start. Oh, to huge, year. Yeah, a great start. He was, he was one of the hardest golfers. I, yeah, to yeah. me, it's it's Scotty Xander Homa. Brooks is a killer, and then I, yeah, I think you have to put and, and Brooks like, in like there Brooks just because of the environment. The things Brooks like, is good. Brooks is an assassin at majors, and like this is obviously it's not a major, but it's like that that sense of like it's it's a next level. Of yeah, just a normal. Yeah, event. this is these and are the, the environments he thrives in. This is what he. Th- this is what. He, yeah, this is what he's made for. He's a damn robot. Like, yeah, I love him. Um, he's a killer. So. Yeah, I'm excited for the Ryder Cup. I am. I am. It is kind of annoying. It is like a 1 a.m. start, so it's whatever. But um, I think it's gonna be a sick event. 
Um, I hope. I honestly, the like, end is I just like such an awkward time. It's like, do you stay up and just like yeah, 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 yeah. ride it through the night? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like switch your yeah. TV schedules, where like like you're just awake like from one a.m. to like whenever it ends, and then like go to sleep. Like I mean, they got it. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, but. Well, what's nice is that it's uh, before football. Hey, I was gonna say, so and it doesn't interfere. It doesn't like interfere all Sunday. So morning, basically, what you're saying is that we're gonna be up open. for uh, what was that seventy two hours? Seventy two hours. It's gonna be Just a seventy two hour bet. Oh, football! And, and golf, that bottle football. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> After a beatdown of the Buffalo Bills. We're playing pickleball on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, oh my luck. God, we are playing pickleball on Saturday. We're yeah, just never gonna get healthy again. Yeah. It's gonna die. At the age of that's, a, that's the mentality of a warrior. Yeah. 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 You have the same mentality, baby. If you would have told me the Dolphins and the Hurricanes were four zero in September, let's go. I would have. Hey, I would have taken a, a, a ten. I hate him feeding jumping. into the statistic, but you know Van Dyke it. is the highest rated quarterback in college football. Two is the highest rated quarterback in uh, in the NFL. It's okay. I don't know what you're looking at me for. You haven't played us yet. So, little bro, you popped down on me. Little bro, oh my God. That's so cute. Uh, Listen, I I mean, at at this point, honestly, like on a a separate note, like FIU already having three wins is huge for me. So, yeah, Yeah, I'll I'll take it. So, that's why when the USA completely gets blown out, the USA is not going to come um, you um, can just take it on the chin. And no, I can this take is what's going to happen. Winnings. Hovland's going to go 5 and 0 this weekend. And then the USA is going to win. 35 points? No, 23 to 5. It's 28 <laughs> points, I believe. So um, that's. <laughs> Rory, yeah, five. Rory is going to absolutely choke. By the way, people forget. Rory got benched last Ryder Cup. He only played. He was supposed to play all, all five rounds. He got benched because of how bad he was playing. He. He is such a mental midget. <laughs> <laughs> he hates um, Rory. Yeah, Rory, Rory. Um, I don't like that him and I Hobbit's think DJ so should have been consi- – well, I wouldn't say – that's, a, that's actually, I, I think he should have been in the conversation. I agree. I think that, Well, that's actually a good conversation too because both teams – because Team Europe eliminated Liv altogether. Yeah. Like, they didn't even – Sergio offer. Garcia should absolutely be yes. playing in the round. Um, it's He's Sergio Garcia. That's so and true. Yeah, they, they did. Uh, they did. Ian Poulter's no, a little I, bit older. I know, Sergio but, but they're, they're like staples. Um, and then on the on the USA side, DJ and Bryson should have absolutely ha- been in that conversation. Bryson more so than um, DJ. Well, Bryson, more, Bryson well, just won too. It, it kind of goes back because yeah, Bryson's had the better year, but DJ is similar in a JT aspect, a perfect Ryder Cup, like that perfect Ryder Cup mentality heel pick that can just thrive on like a One thing about JT, that famous infamous clip of Spieth chipping onto the green from nowhere. Everybody forgets that JT missed the putt and they lost the match. That is true. We actually watched that one in Vegas. I remember watching that. <laughs> he missed the yeah. butt. <laughs> yeah, but um, dude, so, JT's right. But JT has a good record. He's like six and three. Right, yeah, like good record. Like record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did miss that putt. <laughs> Didn't matter though. He blew him off. <laughs> um, all right, you guys want to do the draft? Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. Let's do the draft because we're going to do – I'm going to randomize it here. We're going to do a snake draft, five guys each. Each, you know, both teams combined. We're going to do our own Ryder Cup here. Hey, so um, I was going to get the first pick in the draft league. They're all with All right, well, let's see. All right, <laughs> well, everyone, everyone, yeah. everyone, can see, everyone can see. Everyone see. Randomize. Cambo, David, Andre. You scum. <laughs> first pick, Victor Hovland. God damn it. Um – uh, okay, um, I'm gonna go Scotty. Damn it, that's what I was gonna do. You get two in a row now. Yeah, you go back to back. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. All right, I'm gonna go Xander at three, and hmm. <laughs> don't leave him to me, please. I beg you, I won't take him. I'll go Rob at four. Damn it, I don't want to take fucking Rory. <laughs> Take Brooks. <laughs> take him. Oh, Brooks. Take Brooks. him. Brooks. Take Rory. I'll take Rory. I'm taking, I'm okay. taking Brooks. And then uh, I'm going to take, it's maybe a little bit of a reach, but I'm going to take a little big A break. No, I was going to get him on the come around. Yeah, I mean, so. I like that um, for you. And then, so you picked Xander? I got Xander. So I'm, I'll go Canley. Good pick. Just because I think they're gonna do- like they'll dominate their matchups, so both yeah. both rack up. Is it me? Yeah, so you go back to back. Okay, I'm gonna go Homa. Okay. And who did you go? He went uh, Aber. Did he go Aber? And okay. then uh, and Rory. All right, so I'm gonna go Homa and and I don't like that there. <laughs> I you know what? Just because I like him and his attitude, I'm gonna go Haddon. Okay. Okay. 
Um, well, at this point, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to pick any Europeans. So um, I am going to go. I'm going to go Colin. I'm going to go Brian Bulldog Harmon. I think he could be a sneaky. He's great, great, great player, playing really well. Very prideful golfer. Slowest call forever, but self-aware. And I don't know why I feel like he's got a great putter. I think he's going to steal some points. And then um, I wanted to not do all Europeans, but I, you know, you guys leave me so many. So many yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pick Tommy Fleetwood. Okay, perfect. Because I'm going with him, Clark. Wyndham Clark is my last pick. This is a great value right here. JT, baby. Oh, you took the JT pick. I love it. Ew. I love it. I love it. All right, so but we do, I really want. I you guys know there is other golfers that we didn't. No, play. I know. Yeah. As it's a reserve, gonna, I, I do. I, I really wanted to squeeze them in there. All right, can reserve. I get, can I go with yeah, the reserve? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, BDR, baby, Big Dick Rick. Like <laughs> yeah, that guy's the man. He's gonna what show up. All right, I'm really Pick European. Up. Goddamn it, dude! You have all you. Um, dude, dude, you know what? I love how hot is my only European. Maybe this is something. I'll go European. I'm going to go sleeper pick, Hogard. I'm going to go my last pick. I'm in between. I really want Matt. I think Matt's going to be Hogarth. better. But yeah. I'm staking my reputation on this guy. He was a DraftKings savant. Seb Straka. I love that pick. That's a good one. Straka had a hell of a year, bro. I don't think Straka's going to play every single game. No, but he had a great year. He did. He did. He was a monster. But, you know... What I, another thing I'll say about Europe, and uh, you know, we'll wrap up here. What I worry I about do, Europe, I do have one more thing for you. Is <laughs> um, what I do worry about Europe is some of their guys, like when for a guy like Seb Straka, for example, or Justin Rose, they can snowball and they could continually hit out of bounds or right or and not in the fairway. And this course, you and need this to be course you've got to be accurate. Yeah. So that is my only reserve, but uh, I'm happy with what I'm going to do. You can see if, if our special guest is... is uh -oh. he just He might have just woken up from a nap that his child woke him up from. Let's see if he answers to end this pod. I have... You're, you're here on speaker with, uh, with uh, Benedict Arnold uh, <laughs> going for Europe. You give, give him your worst. You've got a couple minutes. What's up? It's Judas here. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Big fan of the pot. Love that. Thanks. For, thank uh, you. Try trying to understand how you guys can have this turncoat piece of shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I play the role of villain. I mean, no, my God. Talk about an awful hot take. <laughs> Doesn't help he's a UM fan, too. <laughs> like, what, what, I don't even. You know what? Honestly, the rationale why doesn't even matter. <laughs> Uh, but I need, I need, I need you to go on a little rant here on this kid. G give us, your, give us your reasons why you're all back. You're back in full Team USA. Of course he's back in Team USA. He's a dope. He's a mom. <laughs> how could I not? How could first of all, how could you not be back in Team USA? Because it's a betting. It's, I, it's what's what's, what's his perspective on JT over King and Bradley? Uh, yeah, actually, g give 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 the JT thing that you told me actually because we were talking about JT here and Campbell thinks it's the worst pick of all time. How, first, first of all, I don't even I don't even understand how you think that this guy is, he has the best away record for any player for the U.S. team in like I don't know the last hundred years because we've been garbage overseas. <laughs> Second of all, this guy yeah he may have had a bad season, but all of a sudden if you look, the guy made like a hundred thirty last week. We're talking the forty. We're really going to use a forty nineteen championship yeah. seriously, which is all you really need. Oh, which is all hey. you really need when you're playing Just in the match. I don't care if the guy makes an eight. All right. Also, you don't show up to a Ryder Cup without JT on the team. How? How are you going to do that? Well, well. Usually, what you do with the Ryder Cup is you pick players that are better than seventy golfers on tour, and he, for the most part of the year, wasn't a top seventy golfer. He was a disaster. So I wouldn't have taken him. And not to mention, Keegan Bradley trains at the Billmore, so I got love for him. But he was fantastic. You're leaving a, a wonderful player out. We've done this. We've done that all for years. We've done this. We've taken the best players on paper, and we've gotten smoked. We did it for twenty years, and it hasn't worked. Look where we are. 
you needed to you needed to create this little good old boys club that we have now. And you need, <laughs> That's what it is. That's a good way to put it. And you need and you need to bring you need to bring the right team, not the best players. You need to bring the right team. For your sake, Keegan Bradley. Oh, I, Keegan, Bradley Ke- Keegan Bradley. It was not a good fit for this team. He Cam Young, not a good fit for this team. They tried yeah, Cam Young good. in the Presidents Cup. That's you don't want good players on a, a team. You want bad players that are washed up, like Jordan and JT. Washed up, Jesus. <laughs> you? <laughs> I can't even. I don't even understand what's going on here. Like, what? What country are you from? <laughs> U.S. of A, baby. <laughs> I'm from I'm money send, country, I'm man. You gotta make you money, man. I'm, 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 like I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a copy of Banner Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, Havo, you don't realize here, we have a flag here, back-to-back World War champs. I already told them we're going to storm Italy like it's 1943. Um, and, I'm, and I'm rocking a mullet here. So, um, Havo, I need, your, I, I need your, your score prediction before I let you go. My score prediction? Yeah, like what's, what's, what's going to be the final tally at the end? Oh, I, I honestly, I think I think US racks up at least at least twenty points. Wow! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Both are the clown. Both are the clown. I, I, I said twenty. I said twenty three to five. I said their only victories. They're gonna. Are, are gonna I think beat. it's gonna be tight. <laughs> think of your, pulls I think it off. I'm saying the, the over under on US points is twenty. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> no, he's setting, oh. he's setting it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Hav. Later, guys. Later. Later. <laughs> um, big PGA guy, so I have to get him in here. I told, I told, when I told him Campbell was going for Team Europe, he, he almost had a conniption. He so. almost had a conniption <laughs> at, at the airport lounge. <laughs> yeah. And I told him that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. But, yeah, that's, I think that's, that's it for Ryder Cup. Go USA. Let's go, Brooks. Put the team on your back. Am I, oh, actually, we can, give, we, we can do a couple locks of Ryder Cup. We'll say if I win, if Europe wins. I get an automatic return as a guest. Oh, yeah. And you can talk as much shit as you want. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, should we do... What should we do for the winner of the, the little pool? Uh, Let's, loser gets tarred and feathered. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, yeah, we gotta, we gotta pick something for the winner and the loser. Yeah. Which lose down bad right now. Yeah, Lou, Lou is down bad. Which, right? which, which then he had the, he had the audacity to write on the little poll today of like, what should we talk about? Saying just down bad, yeah. like a bunch of beats. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, coming yeah. from the Cowboys, I just lost yeah. to the Cardinals. I don't know if you're the oh, right person man. to be talking right now. Well, I've got, I've got a couple picks before I, we head out of here. I've got uh, Brooks Kepka, the lead team USA in points. I've got Brooks, Brooks Kepka over Haddon in a matchup. I've got team USA over one and a half points. I do have one, I uh, have two, or three, actually, yeah. Uh, Wyndham Clark, best USA rookie, Aberg, best Europe rookie, and Victor Hovland to lead Team Europe points. Those are my, my, all my golf locks for this weekend. I like it. I like and it. Uh, USA to lift the trophy. Easy pick, easy pick. Let's go. Boys. Great pod. Like all right, uh, that wraps it up for today, guys. Well. Thanks for coming on, Cambo. Talking pleasure, some golf pleasure, with us. Pleasure, pleasure Talking online. some fins. Let's go fins. We got a big game this weekend. Big game. Uh, hopefully we got a victory uh, Monday, Tuesday situation over here that we're recording. And uh, hopefully USA pulls it off as well. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll, we'll see you guys next time.